All right, 15.2, interpreting double bar graphs. All right, so you know how to interpret data from a bar graph. What we're going to do today is interpret data shown on a double bar graph. Let's go ahead and review the parts of a bar graph. You have, well, first of all, you have the bars. Then you would also have over here this whole listing over here. What is that called? That's the scale and the distance between these numbers here. Those are intervals. This would be the title and then on the sides we have the labels. So let's look at this double bar graph and which sport is favored equally among the girls and the boys. And how could you tell? Obviously it's going to be tennis, right? And you know that because the bars for the girls and the boys are equal. And here you can tell that it's actually one boy, one girl in this class chose tennis as their favorite sport. So, all right, so obviously on this one, you're going to have to have a key to differentiate between the two, di two different bars. And also notice how each one of these sports, the bars for the boy and the girl, are close together there. So just remember that bar graphs, they show amounts, like how many or how much. Later on in the week, we're going to be talking about line graphs, which are change over time. So let's go to a clean slide and let me give you your questions for the Google Doc. Alright, what I want you to do is to tell me how many more girls voted for soccer as their favorite sport than boys, and then you're going to explain to me how you got that answer. And then, how could you determine if more girls or more boys responded to the survey? And don't forget to answer that question either. And then I want you to come up with a creative question that can be answered using the data from this graph. And we will take a look at those together on our feeds tomorrow. Oh, and one more thing. If you're viewing this on maxclassonline.net, I want you to click on this smiley face right here. And that's going to bring to you to a Google form uh, survey. And I want you to fill that out. And we'll use the data collected there to um, construct our double bar graphs on the next lesson. I'll see you tomorrow.